Welcome to the vlogs. What is up, beautiful people? Now, people always stop me in the streets and they say to me, hey, aren't you? And I say, yes, it's me, Tool. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube video. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's fun and it's free to subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. I need to come up with a name for you guys, like our tribe. What do we call it? Like I don't, because my name is Tools, I don't want it to be like the toolbox. I think, I don't know, I don't like that, you know? Um, but comment down below what you think it should be. Anyways, I feel like this is a cute spot for me to start the vlog. It's Thursday, the 3rd of March, and it's a beautiful day. It's a stunning day. And I have my mom coming over. We're just going to do a little bit of work right now. And I'm going to do some work. I need to get a video, a vlog out today, this evening. Um, because I'm trying to do my vlogs every Thursday. At 6pm. Right on this channel. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to say as of yet. But... How cute are those affirmations? I feel like I want to keep on doing them every day um, because they're really inspirational. I know I do them a lot on my Instagram and people love them. So I'm going to start off my vlogs with an affirmation like that. And it sets the intention for the vlog. It sets intentions for you. Um, and it's wishing you well. Um, and I think we all need that in these times. So... Yeah, let's affirm, right? So I've just arrived to Mesh and I need to do a little bit of printing and I've heard that the pantry, which is from the Marble Zoo Saint group, the Marble group, um, they have just opened up the pantry just below Mesh. So I might as well go take a look and see what they have in store. Um, yeah, and I'm going to take you guys along. Okay, printing done. Now let's walk around the corner to go see the pantry. Oh, I guess it's not open yet. It says opening Friday, 4th of March. So this used to be a gas station. Uh, but now they've turned it into some sort of deli. So, but yeah, um, pity. Now I can't um, get something to eat. Anyways, I'll do this. I'll come back at another time. All right, slight change of plans now that I thought, I thought Pantry would be open uh, 3rd of March. That's what it said on their social media, but whatever, it opens tomorrow. Um, so the slight change of plans is that I'm just getting a quick bite with my mother um, here in Cromerville. Okay, now to find Hertex. Where is Hertex? Is that it? I'm just driving. At least Cromerville is one. Ooh, what's dark? It looks nice. Um, at least, um, oh, and this guilt is here, here, oh, okay, 
Okay. I don't know if guilt was like right here. Um, anyways, okay. I found her text. Um, let me park. Okay, turns out where she was telling me to go was completely the opposite of like, I don't know why she mentioned her text because I'm a double Dutch now and it's nowhere near her text. <laughs> anyways, let's go eat. So last week, I I told you guys that we went to Uko and it was terrible. The sushi was subpar. Now here at Double Dutch, the service is slow. I don't know about how the pizza is gonna be, so I wouldn't recommend. Mum, would you recommend Double Dutch? <laughs> Mom, you didn't say that in the beginning, but it's fine. <laughs> about on these streets girl um, I'm on my way to Danny Hines one of my good friends her house for dinner um, I've popped some trank in the trunk <laughs> tranquil um, one of the deliveries um, yeah so dinner should be fun let's see how the, the skies are clear blue uh, just a little bit of clouds but um, yeah it's, oh, I love summer nights I really do Dinner tonight at Danny's was unbelievable. I had the best time. I, I, I laughed and laughed and laughed. And also, everybody, it was myself, Roger, and Michael, and obviously Danny hosted. Um, it was like a midweek dinner, chill, but it was incredible the food was beautiful and of course the apple spritz kept flowing um mm. and we had a great time i, I want to do like more midweek dinners with friends um yeah even like a tool sucker tuesday more of those but i will get back into it once I get my rhythm back and everything back. But um, yeah, Danny did an amazing job. And the best part is that we have such a great rapport when it comes to humor. Um, and just like one liners that we come up with are just like so funny and so amazing. So um, mm, we, we had a great time. So anyways, so I'm going to retire for the night and I will see you in the morning. Morning, happy Friday. Um, <clears throat> I feel like my music taste is stuck in 1990s um, with just iconic classic albums like the 90s and it's R&B music from that era. Brandy, have you never say never that album 
Monica, the first night album, Mary J. Blige, Mary, Share My World, um, My Love Is Your Love by Whitney Houston. I mean, I, I feel like those are such great albums and we'll never be able to get music like that ever again. Um, yeah. And I find myself listening to that music a lot um, because it's really incredible. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. I've been listening to uh, Mary's, Mary J. Bly's album, Mary. Um, and, you'll, and you find things like a sample from Michael Jackson, you know, back in the heyday. It's, yeah, music that was produced by Babyface. Oh, let me listen to Tony Braxton. Yes, The Heat. Oh, I love that album. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna listen to that right now. But like Babyface that was produced by um, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, produced by Rodney Jerkins, um, Dallas Austin, like those, and Jermaine Dupri. Oh, I, you know what I was listening to the other day that my, my sister actually was listening to that made me watch it, listen to it. It was The Emancipation of Mimi. So maybe like early 2000s. Yeah, but, oh, we'll never get music like that ever again. We'll never get artists like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Janet Jackson, you know, like those iconic Brandy, Monica, like Aaliyah. Oh, we'll never get artists like that ever again. D and don't even try to tell me about the artists of today. Uh, don't. All the music of today, because I cannot. I actually cannot. And yeah, let's go. It's not waste time. Let's get out of here. So I got home earlier um, from. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. I got home earlier from coffee with um, Alex, which was fine, it was quick, all good. Um, but, you know, I have a problem. <laughs> really, I leave things to the last minute. It's Nikki's birthday today and his son uh, Jagger's birthday today. <sighs> but, yeah, I always leave getting gifts till like an hour before I have to leave. But I also need to go get dressed, hair did, whatever. And I'm like, why, do, why can't I just do it on the Friday? Like, why can't I just do it today? And furthermore, like, there's food in the fridge that I made earlier this week, tonight. But it's Friday and I feel like, oh, let me get takeouts. Like... Like I'm Rockefeller, I, like, I, no, tools, there's food in the fridge, eat that. So I'm going to force myself to eat the butter chicken that I made this week. <laughs> and yeah, maybe, to, well, I don't know if I'll have time tomorrow to go get uh, Jagger's birthday gift, uh, which is on Sunday. Um... And I feel like I need a, a new shirt to wear. So, yeah. I'm also lazy. Now that I'm here, I'm like lazy and I don't want to go out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Do you ever feel like that? Comment down below if you feel like that. Anyways, I'm drinking um, the Haute Cabrier, uh, not Haute Cabrier, the Pierre Jordan Tranquil that got delivered. Um, which is lovely. And yeah, later on, I will be eating the buttered chicken. <laughs>
Guys, I just I fell asleep on the couch. Oh, at least it's like 11 o'clock so I can actually now go to bed. I don't know why, like what had just happened. Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you in the morning. Um, good morning. I don't know if it's a good morning for me because 3.30 this morning, I heard a neighbor or someone yelling out, Garabo, Garabo, for about 20 minutes, nonstop. I think he was drunk, but uh, like, come on, like, really, uh, so frustrating. And then this morning I wake up, I'm scrolling through Twitter, and then I see some American has tweeted about who's lip syncing in RuPaul's Drag Race. Great morning, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I'm not gonna let these issues ruin my day, ruin the rest of my day. I'm gonna make some coffee. They used to be in Legacy Towers, but I think they've moved towards where Onyx is, that side, Michelangelo Towers. Um, I, I got a message that they've moved. Um, I haven't been there yet. So, I have been paying about 400 Rand for my haircut. And... Reggie's amazing. Reggie's fantastic. He's been my hairstylist for a very long time. However, one of the times that I was there, the receptionist said, oh, it's going to be like 500 Rand. I was like, no, my haircut is not that much. And then she says, uh, yes, it is. I was like, uh, are we going to have an argument about this? And... So December, I paid, I remember, 400 Rand. And then early Jan sometime with this incident, I ended up paying like 490 Rand. And I don't mind the money, yes. I don't mind the increase, whatever. That's fine. My problem is, is that you increase the price without letting me know, A. B, is that now you're going to have an argument with me about it, which I find beyond infuriating. So yeah, this morning I woke up and I chose violence, clearly. So we'll see. And like I've, I, yeah, I haven't been in a while. As you can see, my hair is ratchet, but I'm thinking of going today and we'll see what's going to go down because if i need to pay that amount again being 500 rand or so 490 i'm going to kick up a fuss i'm going to kick up a fight i'm going to be, be a karen because on principle it's not it's not right even the owner of the store when she wasn't there charged me 400 bucks so i'll let you know how it goes down also i have receipts i have receipts i don't think i'm gonna have time to watch rupaul's drag race so i might just watch a couple of youtube videos and then get ready and then go to the salon i don't have much time do i i think i should just get ready I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be.
not going to the hair salon um, because I was responding to all of your comments you know what guys when I see the comments on my YouTube videos I get extremely happy you know for me when I do and shoot these videos it's not for the views or the likes or anything like that for me it's to preserve the memory and the fact that you know you guys love the videos so much and comment on them it makes me so happy and i i truly truly appreciate it anyways let me stop talking and let me get to picking up pedro because he always complains that i'm late and i'm actually i haven't been late i've been on time for the last couple of times that i've seen him so yes he is pedro let's see He's gonna say he's gonna say something about me being tight. Not not on time. Watch. <laughs> Hi. And you look great. No, I have no English. 
playground and what a fantastic day that was uh the market was amazing it's very much like neighbor goods market if you've been to neighbor goods which it was um but now they it's just like feels like a well-oiled machine uh the stalls and stands and the food and everything was just fantastic and fun um i really really want to go back with a group of friends and do that for a day vibe. It's really fun. The DJ was fantastic. Um, drinks were great. And yeah, I also picked my, picked up some uh, eats for a little bit later for some desserts. Um, what did I get? Oh, I got a blondie and I got a brownie. So some sweet treats for a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna relax now, watch Real Housewives of Miami and Newport's Drag Race. I'm Andy Cohen and welcome to the Real Housewives of Miami season four reunion and man I have been waiting so long to say that Good morning, Dumalang, San Bonani. Hello! Alright, um, I need to go get Baby Jagger's gift. I need to go find something uh, for him for today's birthday party, for his birthday party this afternoon. And I thought I might as well also just go check out the pantry and see, now that it's open, <laughs> go see what it's all about. Um, probably even shoot a little bit of a reel and yeah because tools always need to be in the in and in the know in Joburg I'm your go-to person for these things and with that being said let's go Could I please get a flat white? Flat white. I ordered it already here, right? Yes. Okay, great. Flat white, uh, we've got the small and the medium size. Um, small is fine. Small. How, what does the small look like? That's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Thank you. Small flat white, that's all. I, 
So I came to the pantry and guess who I bumped into? Okay guys, that's where you jump in. <laughs> this place is amazing. So it's fantastic for a coffee, um, a quick snack, and it's open 24 hours and there's a gas station here. Wild, wild. Um, so I'll probably bump into some of you guys here soon. Now, I will definitely say the pantry was worth the wait. Um, Nakia gave me an asparagus tart to go home. Uh, David Higgs said I should pop it in the oven before I eat it. Um, but I'm super, super, super impressed with the pantry. It is definitely a nice Sunday um, coffee spot or 24 hours fresh produce um, that you can get. Uh, pizzas, chicken, um, great quality food um, So at any hour. So forget about when Uber Eats is not working. Make sure you just come drive to the pantry and get yourself um, a, a good quality snack. So with winter coming up, um, I thought I'd get Jagger some hoodies. These are so cute. I love this one so much. Um, I hope they can make it in... <laughs> adult size um but yeah i got these and a cute little summer shirt too which is my vibe right now so yeah i'm gonna put it wrap it up and yeah it's honestly so amazing how much mess i can make in such a short space of time um anyways i'm running very late and yeah the uber's here so let's go to beechwood gardens I am so glad that the weather held out. It's such a beautiful day for Jagger's birthday. Served by the wonderful Susan Gregg in her beautiful home, Beechwood Gardens. This place is unbelievable. It, I don't even feel like I'm in Johannesburg. I I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I see Miss Vicky Crease at work. You know how she loves a curation? Darling, this decor, it's not mine, but I'm appreciating it. Uh, you see? You see? The love for... The love for everybody, guys. What happened? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, like I need to do a Oh yeah, that's cute. Got it. Wait, guys, I'm just... See, I do love that people know that you can do this over and over and over. Okay, got it. I don't have it. You already got it. Jagger and Nikki. 
Happy birthday to you. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Yay! That was the Lion King moment. Happy birthday, Papa. Blow the cat, Leander, stand behind me. No, 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 no. Yeah. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Hey. Guys, I'm not one for speeches as we all know. <laughs> but, 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 if I may say, today is a very, very special day. <laughs> today is a very special day. Friends and family, more importantly, for our son, my wife, thank you, I love you. To all, everybody, everybody here today has a special part to play. It's by no coincidence that you're here. And thank you for spending this day with us to celebrate this boy and more importantly, my whole family. We love you. We're all family to us. And we love you. Oh. Okay, everybody on three says happy birthday, Jagger and Nikki. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Jagger and Nikki! I have arrived back from uh, lunch. It is quarter to midnight. <laughs> I was at lunch and it was Jagger's and Nikki's birthday. And it was unbelievable. Beachwood Gardens is such a beautiful venue to do anything. And the venue itself is stunning and unprecedented i loved i've been there before for a wedding but to see it today in its entirety was so surreal and enchanting and beautiful um i had a great time uh susan greg and that team did an amazing spread with the food and it was lovely and you didn't even feel like you were in johannesburg it was beautiful with the staff, Valen, Nash, and Greg were exceptional. They were top quality. The, to the fact where, you know, your glass was empty, they would fill it. Or they would make sure that every moment was taken care of before you even, even thought about it. So, um, big ups. So, big ups to that those staff members it was fantastic um anyways but yeah that is the end of this vlog i had a great time and i hope you had a great time watching this because i really i'm really enjoying doing these vlogs and one thing i want to say is that for me creating these vlogs is not even work or about the likes or about the subscribers or the views or anything like that for me it's about preserving and creating the memories and i have you guys to be along for the ride um yeah and i really really want to hold on to amazing beautiful memories at the end of the day so thank you so much for watching i love you and there's only one thing left to say Good night. God bless. Goodbye. Susan said, can I walk in them? I was like, excuse, excuse me. me. Excuse me. Can I walk in these?